Rendering large simulation these days, it's so damn hard. So, if you want to learn some trick in Houdini, you are in the right place. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, this is series of Render Everything with Karma in Houdini 20. This one is RBD Bullet Solver, which is a challenge to render that all the large simulation in Houdini. So I have done my research, including side effects from Reddit uh, and YouTube, etc. And I thought to myself, I want to share that research with you guys and I'm still learning, I, I must admit. I'm going to focus on two main issues here. The first one, UV texturing and shading. You see, we need to keep the UV after we uh, uh, fr fracture the geometry with that all new pieces and a new uh, polygon we generated as a concrete, for example. I will show you later on on my Patreon. And the second thing, handling large simulation or handling large data you see every renderer or every dcc app have uh, own strategy to handle this kind of data for example epic unreal engine have nanite wow that's amazing for example arnold have uh, proxies uh, with uh, i i think arnold procedural object and uh, uh, Arnold Renderman, I don't know. I don't have any experience uh, for that. Uh, for example, Karma have a uh, packed uh, uh, geometry or payload or proxies. That's what we're gonna uh, talk about in this video. But all that for optimizing the memory, not at render time. So uh, renderer uh, uh, eventually need to see the actual simulation at the render. You see that we need to optimize the memory so the user or artist uh, can uh, work uh, uh, smoothly. Cool. Very bad, yeah. So before we begin, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you have any suggestion or any question, leave me in the comment section. So let's begin. In Patreon, I set up uh, this scene with this house. You see, I uh, quickly check uh, the texture. You see that we have all these name pieces, and of course, we need uh, we have this shop material uh, attribute that will be handy. We will talk about that in uh, uh, Patreon, and of course, uh, I fracture the pieces. You see, I successfully uh, keep the UV and that's an awesome and this is our simulation you see that all the uv and texture it's working you see that i love it and after that uh, i set up this lop network in solaris and the karma and physical light blah 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 and the camera and we have this decent uh, render scene and uh, yeah uh, after that the material of course uh, with a karma material x you see that in solaris we have our texture and uh, we talk about this kind of issue you see that with this new uh, generated polygon and we fix that in patreon you see that that's awesome and that's so headache in rbd bullet solver you see that all that it's working with all the shading all that on my patreon and thank you for these beautiful people uh, on my Patreon. Thank you guys, you made my journey easier. Okay, let's go to handle large simulation in Solaris, Houdini 20. Okay, the first one will be packed primitive. Let's see what is that. You see that I have this simulation uh, and I cache that, you see we have pretty uh, dense uh, simulation and for example the first one you see that 
we don't have any packed geometry because we, we have all the point in here and let's lay down a pack uh, node and let's see what is that let's go to the help and blah 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 and the main thing we need to see here pack primitive it's express uh, produce generate geometry at render time the purpose is to decrease the amount of memory that's what we need use when inter uh, interacting with houdini by reducing duplication and only loading information when necessary wow that's an awesome strategy so we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, use that let's see how we can handle packed geometry in solar so we packed our simulation you see we have one point represent our simulation so in here we can have a, a awesome repre representation as a point cloud and we can use the name to pack the pieces individually you see that and you see we have this awesome representation and yeah let's go to the solaris and you need to go in here you see we have all these nasty pieces and yeah we have all that by default uh, with a sub import that's easy and uh, you see that all the geometry in, in here and in this option pack primitive you we can uh, we can select the unpack for example it will unpack all the geometry that's awesome and we can use a, a, a point instancer you see we have this awesome uh, increasing of pe performance in solaris it's there in subtle but yeah you see that it's awesome and you can assign the picture uh, the texture you see all that it's working solaris payload or usd payload you see i don't know you know katana or not foundry katana this is an amazing software it's used by a large studio and uh, the purpose of this software is handling the main purpose of this suffering and the handling the large sim uh, scene you see in katana as you can see we have this hierarchy when you expand uh, every uh, uh, branch of that hierarchy it will load the geometry in memory but uh, if you collapse that all that will be hidden in memory but in renderer it will be visible because as as we said before renderer need to see the uh, the final result or uh, the actual geometry that's what uh, katana do so we have payload uh, kind of uh, thing with this uh, kind of concept but with this uh, different uh, glimpse here let me show you let's see we have this uh, ground as a grid and we have uh, this another house i duplicate the sub import and let me uh, transform that i want to show you something in here you see that we have these two house and yeah let's see we have a large simulation let's suppose that okay we have this simulation and you see that uh, we have these two uh, uh, object or two primitive in Solaris and the main uh, difference with these two uh, it's the material of course now uh, if you have anything like that and you need to assign the material in large uh, geometry you need to uh, create material linker and you need to go to the rule and use uh, for example this kind of ex expression to assign uh, for example the roof material to all the geometry with the roof name you see you can uh, use this kind of expression you see that and yeah you see we have the sub import with this one and we we can now have the roof one you see and we can go accept and yeah it will work like a charm that's a good future in uh, solaris uh, houdini 20. so now in this sub import i want to uh, load that as a reference and with this strong payload or weaker payload honestly i don't know the difference and you see we have 
uh, one one of them as a payload and one of them as a regular sub import you see and now we need a sub layer node in here we need to uh, enable and load or unload the payload we have this awesome option in here let me check that as an input and you see we have this payload load payload if we disable that we don't have any payload in here you see that's as as a uh, as a editor karma you see that it will disable that in editor and make sure the sub layer uh, uh, lay down after the karma setting and if we uh, render that you see let me uh, adjust the camera if we uh, render that as a final uh, a product you see in the final product uh, the geometry will be here like a karma you see that we don't have that in editor karma but in the end we have that in the uh, final result and that's the payload you see we have this reference if, if we check that as a reference we don't get this awesome uh, option and you see that now i i I uh, check that as a payload for to this uh, uh, sub import and you see the hierarchy with this awesome icon and if we render that two of them will be in render that's an awesome okay the next one will be USD proxy or um, proxy file let me show you how uh, what I mean by that everyone use that but I want to show you how you can use it in Karma Houdini 20 so let's suppose we have this uh, simulation and I want to generate uh, you uh, sorry proxy geometry for the sake of this demonstration I will use uh, VDB from polygon I want to uh, uh, generate decent geometry and let's uh, convert that as a polygon okay sorry polygon and you see that we have this uh, low res representation of our uh, simulation and yeah we go, uh, we're gonna use that as a proxy and we're gonna import that in, uh, via sub import so the first one will be the final uh, result let's duplicate that call that as a proxy and uh, yeah let me sh my proxy i want to uh, show you in here and let's select that and let's merge it with the uh, hierarchy in here and you see that we have one as a proxy and one as a final result so now we need to configure the primitive that's what kind come to the place so in uh, kind here i want to uh, set that as a proxy and one uh, one of them as a renderer you see that okay we don't have anything and uh, let me show you what is the problem you see in this menu we can uh, select one of them but i think we have a problem with that let me show you okay oops i need to merge this uh, into hierarchy sorry and let me show you you see now it's working so proxy means what will show you in uh, editor and the renderer it's uh, what will show you at the render time you see that when i render that it will be the final product when i disable the renderer we have our proxy that's a good way to handle large simulation or large data into memory you see that and yeah this is uh, the, the second one as a proxy and we have that and i want to show you something some cool trick here uh, i i have this awesome way to generate a proxy geometry uh, by for loop name primitive let me show you here okay and in that i will uh, select the name primitive that will be our pieces you see that with this single single iteration and i will use the same setup i used before and i will have a decent decent uh, geometry for a proxy representation and that will be uh, that will took uh, long to cook of course and you see we have 
proxy geometry for each pieces that's a good way to use that you see that and yeah it will work like a charm the final method it's produced by side effects it's called rbd destruction procedural node i want to show you that okay in solaris we have this awesome node called rbd destruction you see that what is that okay i thought to myself why we have this rbd destruction okay let's connect that and let show you let me show you the help and you see that's what it is this node it demonstrates a good network for doing fracture crumble simulation in LOPS. It's ensure the simulated geometry is placed in the same hierarchy uh, it originated from or below. So as the uh, preserved material binding uh, and other primvar instance. You see, this is the ideal network for the large simulation okay let me show you how we can work with that let's go uh, here and let me create for uh, for example a sphere and let's die let's dive into that network and yeah you see we have the same setup rbd material fracture but we have this rbd configure for packing uh, the pieces we pack that after the simulation you can uh, pack, pack it before the simulation which have uh, own benefit it will make the simulation faster that's my fault and now let's have our uh, house without the simulation into this network and it will cook and will cook man python i guess the python it's uh, slow us down in here so uh, and uh, you see that we have this awesome uh, simulation let me decrease uh, the constraint uh, strength and yeah we have the regular simulation but with this awesome difference you see in this node we have this awesome procedural uh, procedural option you see let me show you in here all the hierarchy it's here uh, like before and uh, let me show you we have this awesome uh, prototype and you see we have this awesome procedural uh, representation what is that you see we can preview the procedure the procedure are so awesome future in karma for handling for example ocean uh, large ocean uh, displacement and of course uh, feather uh, procedure we talk about that in this video you see that and the procedure all uh, are a good thing for the handling large data you see we can uh, choose a, a different type to show our or visible sorry to show our uh, simulation you see that and for example point instancer uh, etc but we need the procedure so what is the procedure you see that we can pre preview that you see we're gonna see the simulation if we don't preview that in the final render guess what like payload or like proxy we're gonna see our procedure uh, sorry our simulation that's awesome you see that and this is the technique i come up with it i come up with in uh, karma in houdini 20 and i thought to myself that will be awesome to let you know so see you in the next one peace out